Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. In the last few videos, we have seen how to build an Angular application using GitHub workflows and also we have seen how to upload artifact generated by the build workflow to the workflow run. Let me recap what we have done. So I am in the repository that we have uh, used to create a workflow to build Angular application. So what I have done is I have created build-angular.yml and in that file I have name and then I'm using a push event. Then I have a single job called build-angular. Then this is running on a GitHub hosted runner, which is Ubuntu-latest. Then it has steps. In order to access uh, Angular code in our repository, we are using the checkout action, which is available in GitHub Marketplace. Then we used uh, setup node action, which is also available in GitHub Marketplace. Then we used uh, npm install command to install all the dependencies. Then we ran our uh, build. Then once the build is run, it generates a dist folder which contains the compiled files. Those compiled files are uploaded as an artifact with name build-artifact using upload-artifact at the v4 uh, action. So we have this build, build uh, workflow. When we want to deploy this application to environments like development environment or testing environment or prod, we need other workflow that does the deployment, right? So let me add a deployment uh, job here. So I'll create another job. Let me just copy this. Now I'll call this deploy angular this will also run on ubuntu latest so this job will have steps so when we want to deploy our application first we want to get access to our artifacts so that we can deploy the code from these artifacts into the server so in order to get access to this we have to first download the artifacts from this workflow so we have a action in uh, GitHub Marketplace that will allow us to download an artifact. If you search for download artifact, you'll get this action, uh, action slash download hyphen artifact. Using this, you can download the artifact uh, by specifying the artifact name. So this is how you can uh, uh, use this action using uh, users keyword. Then we have to provide inputs like what is the name of the artifact that we want to download and then path like once the artifact is downloaded, where do we want to put the extracted files? And then we have a pattern also like you can specify the pattern of the artifacts that you need to download. Then uh, like a single workflow can have multiple artifacts. So if you want to uh, download all the artifacts, then name uh, will be optional. We will not provide name. In, in that case, it will download all those multiple artifacts. And if you want all those artifacts to be downloaded in a single path, then you can set merge mul multiple as true. By default, it is false. Then if you're trying to access a different repository, which is not where your workflow is, then you have to specify the GitHub token. Uh, you have to generate a personal access token and then you have to provide it here so that our repository will have, I mean, our workflow in the current repository will have access to download code from the other repository. Then we have an option called repository. By default, uh, this will take the current repository. Otherwise, you have to specify organization name followed by the repository name or the, I mean, if it's your corporate uh, repository, then you have to spe uh, specify organization name or the repository name. Then uh, we can specify run hyphen ID like uh, it. This is the run ID which uh, GitHub generates for each and every workflow run. So if you want to download artifacts of a specific workflow, then you can specify the run ID. 
So let's uh, use a simple download artifact action here. What I want to do is because we have this workflow in the same repository, I want to tell my action that I have an artifact called build hyphen artifact. So download it from the current repository. I'll provide name colon uh, build hyphen artifact. Then after downloading, I want that artifact to be placed under some folder. So we don't have a folder called artifact in our repository. So I'll specify artifact folder. So what happens is when we run this, when we trigger this workflow, it will try to uh, download an artifact with the name build hyphen artifact in the current repository and in the current workflow run then uh, it will create a directory called uh, artifact and it will place all the downloaded artifacts there then we have uh, so if you look at this example um, here it uses the download artifact action and the name of the artifact to be downloaded is my hyphen artifact and uh, it we have to provide some path where you want to download the artifact then uh, let me copy paste this step so that we see if the artifacts are downloaded properly or not. Now our uh, path is artifact. And one more thing, in order to have access to the artifact, first it has to upload the artifact, right? So we want this deploy hyphen angular job to wait for build hyphen angular job to complete. So let's add a dependency here. We have already seen how to add dependencies in our previous videos. So we have to add the uh, needs keyword and provide the job name. Let me commit this changes because we have a push uh, event here we should see a workflow getting triggered. So we can go to workflows using view runs option as well. So I have opened it in a separate tab. First build angular is running. So it is installing the dependencies required to build our application. Then it is building and generating the application bundles. This is where dist folder will be created with all the compiled uh, files. Now we have all the compiled files here, all the chunks uh, generated by the build command. And this is uploaded to this, uh, artif uh, to this workflow run with the name build hyphen artifact. Now, uh, once build job is completed, it has triggered the deploy job. If I come here and look at download artifact, so this is downloading a single artifact because we have specified the name of the artifact, which is build hyphen artifact. So it is uh, redirecting to the URL, which uh, actually does the download. And then it is starting to download. And then finally, it has uh, completely uh, successfully downloaded the artifact. To see if the artifact is uh, downloaded properly, we can uh, use this command ls hyphen r space, the name of the directory where we stored our artifact files, which is artifact. So we have artifact and then inside artifact, we have a folder called angular demo app, uh, which was created when we built the angular application. And inside this uh, directory, we have all the compiled files. So it has successfully downloaded the artifact. So let's go to summary and uh, download the build artifact to verify if the files are coming correctly or not. I have uh, opened the downloaded artifact uh, so we have angular hyphen demo hyphen app folder. Uh, we see the same folder here. Once I open this, I see third party license. This is third party license, then fav icon, index.html, main.js, polyfills, runtime styles. So the artifact has been downloaded successfully. This is how you can download artifacts using the download artifact action from marketplace using GitHub workflows. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.